Good morning, everyone. I hope this broadcast goes out to you, and I hope you get this message. I'm getting ready to go to work. That's why I'm actually in front of the camera. And uh, this is going to be something that will be a quick message. The Lord's calling me to do other things. Um, one of the things I will be doing and working on is a lot of deliverance cases. Lots. I mean, demonic, you know, deliverance cases, people released from all type of demonic spirits. Um, I had an email from a subscriber, several of them, that uh, one of the false prophets I exposed, her name was uh, Rachel of the Lord or something like that, that she got her channel back. She told you guys it was, um, she shut it down. It doesn't make any sense. She's not going to shut her channel down because she cared about the subscribers and views that she had and still does. Um, false prophet I exposed to you. You know, many times I've exposed this person. But, anyway, the reason why I'm talking to you today is because um, this particular individual um, had her channel restored by YouTube. Now, again, I'm not the only one that exposed her as a false prophet. Now, I went into my prayer closet with Jesus Christ. Okay? Jesus Christ had explained and also says in the word that in the last days, false prophets will arise. False Christ. To be very careful. That they will arise and perform lying signs and wonder to even deceive the very elect. That with the fast rise of false prophets, you will know that it's the sign of the times that Jesus Christ is coming. I'm going to take you to some scripture really quick before I have to go. Hold on a minute, you guys. Now, yesterday I put out a video warning you about testing the spirits because you don't want to be left behind. And, um, you know, about the rise of false prophets. And then I got an email from several subscribers and viewers as well explaining to me that not only her channel was restored, because she is a renowned false prophet, um, other false prophets' channels were restored as well. It wasn't just hers. So you have to be very careful because um, if you don't, you're going to be very deceived. Now, th for those of you out there, this is the word. God warns in his word about false prophet demons like this. And I'm just going to be straight up blunt. I'm going to take you to Matthew 24. God is prophesying about the end times. He's saying how Christians will be persecuted. And he's also warning about false Christ. Matthew 24, 4. Jesus answered, watch out that no, man, no one deceives you. For many will come in my name claiming I am the Messiah and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but I see to it that you don't. I say to it, I'm sorry. I see to it that you are not. But see to it, excuse me, that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. I told you this yesterday in my video about Matthew 24 about the Lord Jesus Christ actually warning about that. I'm going to take you down even further, uh, Matthew. Uh, chapter 9, I'm sorry, Matthew 24, 9 talks about how Christians will be persecuted, put to death, hated by all nations for the namesake of Jesus Christ, because of Jesus Christ, and that that is going to increase, that persecution. Um, God said that many will turn away from their faith, they will betray and hate each other. That's what's happening with these false prophets. Um, what's going to happen is, what that means is that they will betray and hate each other, is that, see, Satan is a house divided. False prophets are always going to try to outwit or compete with one another for your glory, for subscribers, for viewers. Not only that, the Lord told me that when the rapture happens, and these false prophets I expose and others, they're not going to make it in. Um, their subscribers, their cult, will rise up against them and blame them for not making it in the rapture as that's going to happen as well. Um, God says that the, the wickedness will increase. People's love will grow cold. 
God says that those who stand firm, you know, God's elect, do not, and that, that do not get deceived and stay in the word of God, they will be saved if they persevere. Um, God also prophesizes about the Antichrist. So when you see standing in a holy place, the abomination that causes desolation, spoken of through the prophet Daniel, let the leader understand then let those who are in duty flee to the mountains. That matches up with Daniel 9.27. Um, God is basically saying don't let anybody also steal your crown. Don't get caught in this beast system. God is saying that there is going to be great distress that mankind has never seen. Read Matthew 24.21. I am just summarizing this for you. God is saying, do not pray that, pray that your flight will not take place in winter or on the Sabbath. Um, the Lord told me that that's a major indicator. Okay, again, basically saying, do not, you know, pray that you do not have to go through what is to come. Your flight does not have to, your flight does not have to go through the suffering that is to come. Pray that your flight is basically your flight to the rapture is what I'm saying. Um, God warns about deception again. Lord, uh, I'm sorry, Matthew 24, 23. Lord says at the time, if anyone says to you, "Look, there's a Messiah," there's an or he or there he is, do not believe it. Okay. God warns about false Christ, false prophets will arise, and that's happening. Not only this false prophet, Rachel loves the Lord, there's other false prophets that they had their channel shut down, but YouTube restored them. That's part of Bible prophecy. Bible prophecy meaning false prophets will arise. That's part of that. 24, Matthew 24, 24, for false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. So God is telling you that these false prophets are going to rise in fast numbers, whether on YouTube, out in the world, you name it. God said, test the spirits, don't let yourself get deceived. Don't let yourself get deceived, always, always seek the counsel of God. God's saying here that he told you ahead of time that he's warning you of these things to happen. Because it is going to happen. God says in Matthew 24, 28, So if anyone tells you there he is out of the wilderness, do not go out. Or here he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as lightning that comes from the east is visible from in the west, so will, become the son of, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there is a carcass, there the vultures will gather. God is basically saying that wherever you see false prophets, okay, you will see their subscribers gather. You will also see this. God saying that the false prophets will devour God's sheep if you let them. It will devour God's sheep that they are like vultures, scavengers, devouring every piece of God's sheep. In other words, causing them to fall off the path. God says these are going to be the days of distress that's going to get worse. Matthew goes on, Matthew 24 goes on to talk about the sign of the, com the son of the coming of man. God says that you don't know the day or the hour. You don't know when Christ is coming. So don't get deceived. Because as in the days of Noah, they were drinking and marrying. And God told Noah to get into the ark, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, read Matthew 24, 24. Okay. God is telling me to give the scripture to you people that false prophets are rising fast. And that his elect... A lot of them are getting deceived. Be careful. Don't be one of them. Don't get deceived. You always test the spirits. Now, with that being said, I am going to be doing a lot of a lot of deliverance cases. That's the sign of the times, I guess. I'm getting a lot of phone calls and emails. Please stay in the Word. Don't let yourself get deceived by these false prophets that I expose to you and those that I haven't I haven't exposed to you yet. Be very careful. Be very careful. All right. God said these things are going to happen. God said when you see false prophets coming on YouTube, because YouTube has become like a cesspool full of these false prophets and their cult. Be careful. Don't get deceived. If, if I were you, I would step away from YouTube and go into the Word of God. That's what I would do. And be very careful. Now, as I told you people, I'm going to be doing lots of deliverance cases, so I'm not going to be on here as much. 
I told you people before that my ministry was coming to a close. I don't know when that's God's decision, but I'm just telling you people to be careful. False prophets and false messiahs will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Okay, God's saying, see, I have told you ahead of time. In other words, he's warning you. Do not be deceived by these false prophets. Be very careful, ladies and gentlemen. Be careful.